Hi, I'm Paul Barry. Welcome to Media Bites, and time to pack the bags. Travel bubble cleared for takeoff. A two-way quarantine-free travel bubble. A two-way travel bubble. The Trans Tasman travel bubble. The New Zealand travel bubble. Bubble, bubble, no toil or trouble. Australians can go to New Zealand. And the country's travel agent in chief, PM Jacinda Ardern, is thrilled that we're coming. We, I can hand on heart say, have honestly missed you. Yeah. Oh, well, that's nice. And Jacinda had missed Carl as well. I can't believe I'm saying this, but we have absolutely missed you. <laughs> and we want you to come and see us again. But missed us enough for a sing-along? Not quite. Uh, we've got a, a special song for you this morning. We'd love you to sing along. There is absolutely zero chance of me singing along to this track right now. <laughs> Politicians should not dance and they should not sing. What a spoil sport! Especially when so many politicians have done both. Like former Labour Minister Craig Emerson taking on Skyhooks. No why I'll wipe out there on my TV. No why I'll wipe out there on my TV. Shocking me right out of my brain. And remember Peter Costello trying the patented Peter Garrett moves in Parliament? <laughs> and doing the Macarena with CAC. <laughs> oh, Kevin Rudd rumbling with the daytime star. Yes, even ScoMo's got in on the act with this wombat wobble. Which was slightly more impressive than Clive Palmer's twerking. That's it, baby! That oh, is it! That is it! That's it. That's yeah, maybe Jacinta is right. But now to breaking news from the AFR's Joe Aston, who revealed last month that AMP's CEO was about to walk the plank. After which the ABC's Daniel Ziffer told us... AMP's CEO, Francesco De Ferrari, resigned today. Hmm, only one small problem, as the ABC's Sue Lannan explained next day. The CEO, Francesco De Ferrari, is still the CEO. Whoops! So, did the ABC eat humble pie? Not exactly, with Dan Ziffer giving us this follow-up report. Yesterday, trading in AMP shares was halted after reports that CEO Francesco De Ferrari was resigning. Yes, including your media report, Dan, who continued. After a late night statement denying it, today, more detail that walks it back. Looks like the AMP wasn't the only one walking it back. So, was that the end of the story? Well, no, because six days later came news that... AMP CEO Francesco Di Ferrari has resigned from his post. Yes, can you believe it? But no prizes for journos who jumped the gun. Nor to the telly for its front page story on Melissa Caddick's memorial service, headlining her foot cremation. Hmm. After ripping off millions of dollars from trusting investors, the notorious Sydney con woman went missing, presumed dead. The only part of her body which has been found, her foot, has reportedly been cremated. So, here's the test. What tasteless pun could the telly find for its big, bold headline? How about this one? Footnote to one sad saga. And there was more, with the telly adding her husband faces being booted from the family mansion. Whatever you think of Caddick's crimes, that is two puns too many for a funeral report. And finally, to a vicious theft caught on camera. <laughs> but fortunately for the Russian TV weather reporter, the pickpocket pooch was caught. And didn't Australian TV love it? Hilarious moment, a Russian reporter is bowled over by a dog. That real news hound, <laughs> that guy, you'd have to say. He's really good at following leads yes, as yes. well. Oh. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what we in the news business call a news hound. News hound! Hilarious. But personally, I prefer our own homegrown attack dog. Um, and... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. And we'll be back with Media Watch 9.15 on Monday night on the ABC, also iView, social media. Don't miss it. Mm.